Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, my name is Mustafa Rahal. I'm Anthony's cousin. I want to thank you all for being here today. Um, I will be reading what he titled My Final Words and Will to My Family by Anthony Hassan Dia. I'm typing this letter in case one day I do not make it home from work or pass away unexpectedly. If you're reading this, that means I am no longer here. I hope my family can find some solace in this letter. I'll attempt to address all of my loved ones in this letter, as well as, as my belongings and property. My son Eunice, when I found out your mother was pregnant with you, I was so nervous. I was still just a boy myself and couldn't possibly imagine raising a child. Prior to you being born, I got a job on my 18th birthday. It was hard work, but every day I would show up with a thought of you in mind, motivating me to continue so I could support you. When you were born, it was the greatest thing that had ever happened to me. I truly believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had it planned this way because becoming a father changed me so much for the better. There's so much I want to teach you and your brother, but since you're reading this, I may have not been able to teach you guys all of those things. I'm typing this in the holy month of Ramadan, 2020. This month is a time for reflection, and I've thought a lot about death in this month and being prepared for the end of this journey. Take care of your mother and brother for me. You're the man of the house now. I love you so much, and I'm so proud of you and your brother. You and your brother are the reason I woke up every day and the reason I was where I was in life. My son, Maytham. You will always be my baby no matter how old you get. Every day you and your brother make me laugh and bring me so much joy to my life. Please look after your mother as well. She would need you and Eunice during this time. I want you to know that I'm also so proud of you. You are so smart and caring for others. You both are so much better than I ever deserved and I only can thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. May you both please forgive me for any shortcomings I had. I know I wasn't always the best dad, and maybe I've been harder on you than, on, harder on you both than I should have. I hope our good times together far away any of the bad times. My sons, my advice for you is this: hold tight to the rope of Allah and the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. Do your prayers every day and maintain your belief in Allah subhanahu wa taala and Islam. Continue in your entire life to be a Shia of Ali alayhi salam. As you were both born with this right, which is a blessing not all were born with, study your religion and keep these books in English I have gathered to learn, for you to learn from. Never be ashamed of your, of your faith and state your beliefs. No other, never be ashamed of your faith and state your beliefs to others with confidence, but also humility. Learn Allah's books and the life of the Prophet Muhammad and the Ahlul Bayt Maintain relations with your family, even those relatives who do not believe such as us. When you have doubts about your religion or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, pray to him and study these, book, these books as you will almost always find your answer to your questions from these. I pray you go to college and get some sort of degree I also pray for you to each have a family of your own and also have children of your own. Your mother would love to be a grandma. I pray you raise your children on the same principles and faith I have raised you, but also with the humor and playfulness we always had. I love you both with everything in me. My wife, Jamie, we have been through so much together. You were the best wife a man could ask for always supporting me in all the things. You never asked for much, but in return you gave your all to myself and our children. You are truly the love of my life, and I know I did not tell you that as much as I probably should have. I apologize for my shortcomings and hope you forgive me. Please continue to raise our children on the right path. We may not be perfect, but I don't think we're doing too bad. I hope you can be happy in this dunya. I hope you get to become a grandmother and live a long, happy life <clears throat> after I am gone. I'm sure that sounds impossible right now, but maybe in time, I pray. I love you. 
and our sweet boys with everything in me. I'm sorry that I'm gone sooner than I want it to be. <clears throat> Every soul shall taste death, and this is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted me to return. I love you so much. My, my mother and father, you guys were the best parents I could ask for. Baba, you were like the Superman to me. You were like Superman to me growing up. I looked up to you always. You were my real life superhero. Mom, you were always there for me when I needed you. You both were. I hope you bo both forgive me for all the headaches and pain I caused you both when I was growing up. I love you so much. My siblings, Layla, I know I never say it, but I love you. You are a great sister and an even better aunt. Forgive me for being a jerk sometimes when you were younger. Ali and Haidar, I love you both. Stay close with Eunice and Maytham. You guys are all growing up together. It's so amazing to, me, to see. I hope that maybe if I passed away at work, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. I hope that maybe if I passed away at work, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive me and accept me amongst the martyrs. Every day I put on the uniform, it was the intention to protect the weak and innocent in my community from evil. I also hoped that if I was shot, I was able to take the shooter with me. I hope he died, I hope I died, excuse me, I hope I died with bravery. Please recite Surat Yasin at my grave, and please pray that Allah forgives me for my sins. I lived a fulfilling, a fulfilling life and have accomplished all anyone could ask for. I have no complaints and thank Allah every day for what he has blessed me with. I could go on and on in this letter to my loved ones, but I'll stop here. I hope with this, I hope with time this gets easier for you all. Lastly, for my property, I leave everything I own to my wife, Jamie Dia. May she distribute it as she sees fit. Please make sure the boys get the books and academics and anything else they may ask for for mine. This is not our final goodbye. I know that one day we will all see each other again. But until then, I'll ask Allah to let me visit you all as much as possible and watch over you as much as I can. From Allah we come and to Allah we shall return. I had written something up for Anthony on his behalf. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. May, peace, may the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be with you all. I want to personally thank you all on behalf of the Shaheed, Anthony Hassan Dia, and his family today for all being here in the community, for coming together and being there for his family through these hard times. I know he would be ever so grateful for all everyone has done. Anthony Hassan Dia. Let me tell you, he was a man unlike any other I knew. He was a great father, a great husband, a great brother, a great friend, and just a, such, such a great human being overall. When I first met Anthony, I was, it was about 2008, 2009, and we were at a family gathering. I was introduced to him. He was my cousin, yet it was my first time meeting him, as some of us has experienced being Lebanese and having huge families. This is nothing out of the usual. Anthony was transiting to Bedford High School, where I was going to be attending. Little did I know that I had just met one of my best friends and someone who was going to change my life completely. If you knew me in high school, you knew the quiet and shy nerdy kid I was. But when he was at Bedford, we were inseparable. If I wasn't at his house hanging out with him, I was on Xbox playing Call of Duty with him, or Halo. I didn't have many friends in high school, but Anthony, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. I didn't have many friends in high school, but Anthony was always, always tried his best and included me in everything, whether it was going out with some friends, his friends, or taking me to get my first bowl of Chipotle 
or my first Starbucks drink. <sighs> he always treated me as a brother. We bonded over our love for our culture and fighting and wrestling. Actually, he's the one who convinced me to wrestle in high school, even though I didn't want to, but he was a persistent one. <laughs> I'm grateful. The one thing that really brought us together, though, was our love for our religion and our Ahl al-Bayt. For those here who do not know what or who Ahl al-Bayt is, it means the family of the house. And by the house, it means the house of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He always had this interest, I'd explain it like a spark that started a fire that grew into a strong burning flame. But this spark, I believe, helped shape him into the amazing father and police officer and human being that he became, that we all loved and knew. It was his dream to follow in their footsteps and spread peace, love, humility, humbleness, boldness, and integrity. I know it's in their influence that in fact guided him along this path to law enforcement. He wanted to protect and guide people through his actions and help those in need. Anthony was someone I have always looked up to, and I wish I got the chance. I wish I got the chance to tell him this to his face, but I know he is here with us right now, so I'll tell him now. Hey, Habibi. I love you, bro. I miss you, and I'm so proud of you. And thank you for everything. We always said, live like Ali and die like Hussein. That was our slogan. For those who know of Ali, know he lived with such vigor and eloquence. And for those who know Hussein, he was the epitome of divine justice, peace, love, mercy, and sacrifice. Anthony, my brother, indeed you have succeeded. Indeed you have succeeded in following in the footsteps of our dearly beloved Ahl al-Bayt. Verily to Allah we belong, and verily to Allah we shall return. Inna lillahi wa inna lillahi raji'oon. Salawat alu Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. I've been reading a lot about the Anthony rule, and for the people in charge around here, I hope you guys really take it into consideration. Thank you so much. Wa alaykum as-salam.